Bobbies! Welcome to a live video where today we're going to carry on the fish theme. We're still in the fish theme this week. So it's not very nice outside, is it? So I thought what we would do is we do some crafts that we can do indoors. We're going to be doing some pebble painting and we're going to be making some little fishies so that we can put them on our little scenes that we've been making. Okay, so for this, you will need some sort of pebble. So this one I collected from Weshaw Beach when I was on my little walk. Um, you can collect them for anywhere, really. You can have a look in your garden, see what you've got lying about. I've chosen a little one to do a little um, mini fish, baby fish. But the bigger you go, the more detail you can put on it. But I thought we'd do a nice little quick one today. You also need some um, either paint. Um, sharpie pens also work well um, or any felt tips like these and I've also found that create Crayola pens like these ones they work as well as sort of like a another option but you have to press quite hard with those but what we've got and what we use in learning to be is some acrylic paint pens so you can order these online if you do want to get some um, they're, they're not very expensive, but inexpensive. They're about five pounds, but they last absolutely ages. Okay, so we've got some of them I'm going to be using today. So first, I'm going to decide which way I want my fish. And I think I'm going to do it this way so that I can put a little fin on the top there. Okay. Hello, Becky B. Hello, Carrie. Hi, Lloyd, that means. How are you doing? I'm sure you've got lots of pebbles lying about that you can do some pebble painting on and sharpies and also some acrylic paint um, on its own works as well. It doesn't have to be these pens because I'm aware that not everybody can get them. So acrylic paint, that works nice. So I'm going to start by drawing, colouring the whole rock in blue so that it's a nice blue background for my fish. So the beauty of these pens is that they get cover the surface, surface quite easy and they take not long at all to dry. So with acrylic paint um, you might take a, it might take a bit longer to dry. While you're waiting for it you could maybe start another pebble. So I'm just going to paint the whole rock in blue. So you could get some inspiration from um, watching movies. So you could watch Finding Nemo or something like that and get some inspiration for what patterns the fish have on them, what scales they look like, the colours, what types of fish there are, things like that. You could look on YouTube, uh, fish videos, or you could just create it from memory. So you could create, you make it your own fish. You could do anything you want. Okay, so there we've got it, my blue pebble. And now I'm going to add, just going to let it dry a bit, I blow on it. Or you get hair dryer maybe with the cool setting on, that might help it dry. Or even better, you could put it out in the air and let it dry while you're painting another pebble. So I'm going to take my white now and I'm going to give my fish a little eye. So it's not very white because it's picked up the blue but I've just given my fish a little circle on the front for an eye and then I'm going to take my black one and I'm going to put a little dot there and now I'm going to give it some eyelashes because I can make all of my things quite girly so you can make this however you want it's your design okay so there's its eye and now I'm going to get some other colors I think I'm going to go for yellow and red and I'm going to put some patterns, some scales on my fish. So I'm just going to go for some striped patterns. You can do whatever colours and whatever patterns you desire. Or if you're taking inspiration from Nemo, you can copy the colours that Nemo used. Oh, exciting! The pens are fab, aren't they, Becky? We use these quite a lot in um, in our summer camps, don't we? All the kids use them. And they last absolutely ages. Everybody uses them in the summer camps and they last and last and last. So they are a good purchase. I'm going to add a little bit of gold on there. 
I'm just doing patterns at the moment. Show you what it's looking like so far. So we've got our eye and our pattern building up. Oops. So you might want to do it on a bit of newspaper. I'll give that a wipe afterwards. And put some green on there because that's very under the sea, isn't it? Just building up pattern. And I'm going to add a little bit of white in there. Make it pop. So what patterns do you think are scaly? What represents scales? So I'm just using different shapes like circles, ovals, and I'm even going to use some triangles to represent some scaly bits. There's lots of books out there as well um, that are to do with fishes that you can read to get some inspiration. And the last bit now, I'm going to add some triangles. There we go. So there's my patterns. I've created my little fishy with lots of patterns. Now I've done mine very basic. But you can do yours as colourful and as exciting and patterny as you want. I want to see lots of detail. The last thing I'm going to do is put some lips on my fish. And then it's ready to go under the sea. There we have it. So it's ready to go under the sea. You could use them as little puppets like we did last week. We've got puppets. You could use them to make a scene. You could put them in your scene. You could play with them or you could use them as display. You could even hide them on your walk and write on the back of it your name and the date that you did it. And you could hide them and see who collects them and put them on the Facebook page, okay? So I can't wait to see yours. Send us lots of pictures of your little sea creations. The more the better, make a little sea family. Um, very exciting. So I'll see you all soon. Bye.